Hello and welcome. My name is Alia Khan and you're watching The Modest Chapter. Today I have Amber Feroz, a very exciting designer and a name that I'm sure we all know. Welcome. So Amber, I've heard that you don't believe in makeup. I used to. Once I used to believe in makeup, but uh, there was a point when I did my show. I think it's a lot of people might know about that show called Heights of Hope. Then I decided Actually, makeup is not important anymore. So For you me, don't let your models no, on the runway no, wear makeup. No. How is that possible? So what do you do? What do they do? They they don't wear. No, any they're makeup? they're without makeup, and I like to put some gloss on the lip, and if it's required, some shine because of the light and the camera, maybe a little bit on around the eye area. That's all, because I don't think we need it. That's gorgeous. Thank you. What you're basically depicting is the beauty of simplicity. For me, beauty, beauty is simplicity. Because we are all designed by and created by the Almighty. And, and we are all beautiful. We just have to look at ourselves and just learn to appreciate ourselves. Amber, I love your work. Thank Personally, you so much. I love what you've done with the Abaya. Thank you so What's much. your inspiration with your work? I thought it would be nice if I can make it a bit fluid, you know, and uh, but I, when I went into it, when I went designing it, then I kind of understood it was not fun <laughs> at all. But then I started uh, a very seamless and drapery approach to it, and it worked, and it fulfilled me on some level as a designer, and then I took a while very serious. So your mother was your inspiration? Yes, she told me to actually start, and I wouldn't have started if she wouldn't have told me. That's wonderful. Yes. So you haven't always been a modest fashion designer per se. What does modesty mean to you? So basically, if you say I'm a modest person, which means you know what works with you, what doesn't work with you, in terms of the dialogue, the way you communicate, the way you eat, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you drive. So you are aware of yourself that this is what you need, and it goes transforms into dressing dressing itself. So modesty is not just a way of dressing clothes. Can you be modest and beautiful at the same time? Of course. Without modesty, there is no beauty, I believe. Oh. Because you need to know exactly what works with you in terms of your look, in terms of your, your uh, approach, or how you come across to this world. Stranger to the idea of beauty, your stuff is beautiful. You have sort of defined elegance and grace on a whole different level, and that's what's inspiring about your work for the rest of us to see how it's evolved. Share with us some beauty secrets. We are all beautiful from inside, and sometimes we just need to know or or, or, or get a hold of or get a grip of that beauty. And when you have that, it, it reflects that. Mm. It, I am not a creator. I don't create, I design, because there's only one creator and we all know that. So I design. And I design is basically an understanding. So through my work, I try to understand beauty because as a human being, it is not really possible for me to keep understanding it until unless I work for it. Share with us something that is a wonderful secret that you stumbled upon that has helped you. Help us with it. If you have faith, anything is possible. And when, with, with the light of faith, anything, anything that you name is possible, I believe. We've just been inspired by Amber Feroz. We'll see you next time.